What's up, guys? This is Andre, aka Choke Nader. Um, first thing you might notice is that it's not just my webcam here. All around me, if you look around the screen here, this is my Twitch layout. And as you guys can see, you know, I have a okay amount of viewers at night. Uh, I'm, it's four in the morning right now, and I finished streaming like a couple hours ago. Uh, <clears throat> I just spent some time browsing other people's streams and stuff. But as you see, I get some donations, you know, trying to get an iPad. Um, I got some subscribers. I got a decent amount of viewers each day. So my stream life is going okay. YouTube, not so much. But uh, anyway, that's not what I want to talk about. Um, I just wanted to show you guys that, you know, if you've been to my stream, uh, you can follow me at Chokenator. But anyway, the main thing I wanted to talk about is like uh, getting complacent. Um, I know these little vlogs are just like life updates for me. Um, and I know some of you might have subscribed to my channel think, uh, because you like the Melee content. Um, you know, the, the whole Ice Climbers video series. I want to do more of those for sure. I already wrote the next one. Um, just got to find a time to make it. Um, well, let's just switch over to the camera here. You can see my dog in the background. Um, I just want to talk about uh, getting comfortable. Um, and I think one sort of big problem that's persisted with me in my life is that some a lot of times I had to hit a, uh, a low point in order for me to get really motivated. Um, it's like a roller coaster. Like you hit a low point, you get motivated, you move up, and then you get comfortable or you get tired or you get burnt out or you get bored or something and then you just go down a little bit and you kind of want to reach this like high point like that you plateau at before you because if you go too far you might burn out and then crash right so i kind of trying to reach this high point where it's like balanced and steady um like not super you know aggro all the time but just like at this at this okay point where it's like steady and consistent um I'm, I'm like hovering here. I'm not at bottom. I'm not at a low point, but I'm hovering somewhere in the middle where I'm not giving it my all, but I'm not, you know, letting myself tire out. Um, but I, I'm at this point where I know I could be doing more. And that's why um, I want to like talk about this because I need, I'm not sure what it will take to get the, give myself that extra push. Um, but I think I just need to like take a retrospective look at every single day at night and look back and see what I could have done better. Um, and I just need to grow each day and improve each day. And um, I listed here like a few life changes that I want to make. Like obviously this is like, I, I, you know, 28 years old. I'm, I'm, hit, I'm approaching 30 fast. And um, I just want to like, you know, figure out some things. And I've talked about budgeting in the past. Like in my past couple of videos, I talked about like financial struggles and trying to, you know, get out of here and get married and you know all that future stuff and that stuff is like approaching me fast and i feel like i'm on the cusp of being successful because right now where i'm at if i do art like all day um you know do my commissions sell my art on the weekends um i'm pretty much making right now what a minimum wage job would be and um i make i'm about matching like what i was making when i was working at a deli a couple years ago right um which is good, you know, like as an artist, you want to just make a living. And obviously this is not a living quote unquote, but I'm drawing, I'm getting better. I'm improving. I'm finding a customer base. Uh, the thing about freelancing is that ever since I started freelancing, it, you know, they say art isn't a consistent job, but I've never not had customers. And um, the more I do, like the more requests I get and the more people notice and it just grows. And I hope that's something that's going to be consistent. The thing is, even if it's a long list, if you finish that list, it, it might end somewhere, you know, and that's the whole fear. But I think I just got to keep going. I got to keep taking care of like every single commission that comes at me, you know, do it to the best of my ability, please them, make them happy. Cause it's not about me, you know, at the end of the day, like I know from my, from my religious background and from my just moral background that, you know, business is service and it's not about, you know, serving myself, but it's, re it's people repaying me for me serving them, you know? Um, and I just want to make the people happy. And uh, I got like a long list. I'm looking at my list of commissions right now. There's like 10 of them right now that I need to finish. Um, well, actually nine of them. One of them I need to get paid for. Uh, but anyway, um, a couple things like getting exercise, budgeting well. Um, I'm, I'm trying to figure out a, a reason for myself to exercise. Uh, one of them is like Pokemon Go, actually. Um, I want to start like um running around the neighborhood because there's you know the deli that i used to work at o'brien's 
Uh, there's actually four Pokestops there. At the mall, there's five Pokestops. I can even run to the mall in my gym shorts in the morning. Because I just want to get around moving. Because, you know, I, I've had this, like, weight goal, weight loss goal for a long time. I'm weighing, like, 167, 168 right now, which is, like, super, like, overweight, you know, for my height. Not super, but, like, I don't look it, I guess, but I hide it, you know. I wear dark clothes and I wear thick jackets like this and you hide your your tummy. I don't want to be living like that. I don't want to be hiding away. I want to, like, like approach these things head on and just, and just like, get better at it, you know. Um, so I think Pokemon Go for me is a way for making, you know, running around exciting. Um... I love play playing Pokemon Go when I'm out. I don't want to stop playing because I, you know, I just get addicted to the games like that. Um, so I want to start like heading out to the the deli in the morning or the grocery shop, maybe even buy something and, you know, run a bag home or something. It's about a half mile walk to the grocery store. Um, so that could be something. I think that's something I want to start doing in the morning again. I used to walk to church in the morning. Maybe I could start doing that again. I just don't wake up early enough. You know. Um, I yeah. So that that's like a thing. Um, budgeting, I need to start, like, uh, or not start, but just, like, be better about, um, uh, recording my income and spending throughout the day. I know I have that logged in my, you know, Venmo and PayPal or bank accounts or whatever, but I need to, like, actively make my own documents of, like, predictive, you know, what's to come in, what's to come in the coming months, what do I need, what do I need to spend in the coming months. I'm not good about that yet. You know, all this grown-up stuff that comes basic to some people, I don't do yet. You know, I just think about what am I gonna draw next, but I need to continue approaching life in a really holistic way and uh getting better at everything at once um i could talk about melee but i can't really you know I've been, i'm still getting top you know top two top three at these tournaments um i'm still stagnant you know stagnated from where i left off which is um you know what can i say about that it's it's good to say that i'm not getting worse but still uh that's just melee, though. You know, I have been out, sort of out of the game for like almost a year now. Who knows if I'll ever get back into it? The thing is, I'm still sponsored, so I still have to represent myself. Um, and you know, I'm still thankful that they, you know, enable me and allow me to do that. And the thing is, a lot of my customer base, customer base, is uh, from gamers. So if I go to these tournaments and I go to these events, the people who want, who like seeing my art, which is a lot of you know gaming fan art like Street Fighter and Smash and all that stuff. Um, I want to do more like League or like Overwatch or something like that. Just like stuff that's popular and gets, you know, gets people excited. Um, you know, uh, I'm, I'm just trying to adapt. Um, and I think that's the key word here. Um, they say, you know, the greatest quality for uh, an evolving species is its ability to adapt. It's not always about who's the fastest. It's not always about who's the strongest or biggest. You know, each of, the, each of those things that can be seen as strengths can be seen as weaknesses in another situation. So I need to constantly look every day at my situation of, you know, how did my day go and adapt and see how I can improve the next day. Because these are all little things that are probably going to hopefully be second nature to me a year from now, you know. But today I just got to, I want to look back at today and say I could have, you know, taken a jog in the morning. I could have, um, you know, budgeted better. I could have spent another hour or two on my work. Um, I could have worked on something that had a, a greater opportunity and value than what I chose to work on, you know? Um, so each of those things, like choosing to uh, look back, um, analyze and improve, you know, it's just like how I was improving at Smash, you know, video, VOD analysis. I need to do like a daily VOD analysis of my day. And maybe these videos are, might, what, might be, maybe these videos might be what helped me, you know? Even improving my speech and diction and not stuttering over my words, stuff like that, so... Um, that's pretty much it. I think, um, a last thing I want to talk about, uh, is finding that balance between, um, pleasing the people. I, I mentioned this earlier, pleasing the people and doing what you want to do. And they say you really find your vocation. You really find your career when you meet that sweet spot, when you are doing what you want to do and also giving the people what they need, um, and what they want. Um, and that's when you really find, you know, your not just your passion but like where your passion belongs and the thing is i've been doing illustration commissions for the past year because that's that's how i knew to start out i like you know people want a drawing i'll make them a drawing but now i think i want to start moving on to animation commissions because now a lot of people have been um, asking me for illustration commissions but i have more fun doing animation and i'm better at animation you know illustration is very tedious for me like doing things like shading and and clean lines and stuff like that but with animation you do that stuff a lot faster 
and a lot more times. Like I, I, I like doing a bunch of different drawings, um, all in a row rather than focusing hours on one drawing. You know, I like doing a bunch of them, even if it turns into one animated movement. That's what I enjoy more. So I'm gonna start uh, asking, like I'm gonna try to close illustration commissions and start asking people for animation commissions. Of course, I want to be adaptable again, adapt to what people ask me, but I'm gonna start pitching the idea more about animation commissions and hopefully people will respond to that. So um, that's like the main thing I want to improve uh, in my life. Um, just do more animation. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Like this is where I'm at now. I don't know who listens to these or who uh, watches these still, but uh, whoever, whoever is supporting still, thank you. I know there are some people who subscribe to this channel and like the content, but um, yeah, I'm going to keep going. Uh, I'm going to do some, some more videos. I'm going to keep streaming because I guess you can see back to the stream layout. I have something going. I got something good going. I got some subs, you know, I got some donations um, like every week. So it, it feels good and I just need to keep at it um, and I need to keep adapting and keep learning. Um, shout out to Mango right there over there. That guy is a, is a, is a great man. Sometimes life is this crazy mystical thing and sometimes you just go out like a buster. Um, but you learn from being a buster, you know, life, it's never game over. It, you always have another day to try. There's always another day. Um, and tomorrow's another day. So, uh, I'll say good night to you guys or good morning. It's 4.05 now and I will, I'm going to peace out. I'm going to hit the hay, uh, with my little tiger blankets and my dog over there. And I'll be back tomorrow on my stream, continuing to work and continuing to learn. All right. I love you guys. God bless. And I'll see you later.